drinking. No, drinks. I'm not getting drunk. Okay, so you're just drinking Two consistently, but your 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 body's keeping up. Um, yeah. So I give you a spot hidden as they come in and look around to see you, and they're gonna automatically see you because everybody's avoiding your table because you've been like growling at people and you've been all surly and shit. Been growling? Yeah, have you been? People keep coming up for autographs. You're like, damn it, I'm trying to drink. No, 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 no. <laughs> But you're obviously a man who wants to drink alone, and you're heavily armed. You got two fucking guns on your sh- on your back. All right, you don't see them. You guys see him before. You guys see him. He's in a. Uh, he's in the back corner. Um, hey, Marshall Pierce. He's drinking. Oh, there you go. I I brought what's left of your deputy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Otto looks like somebody has run over him with a wagon or something. He looks terrible. Uh, just finish my drink. Okay. Uh, see if I can stand up. I yeah, can. you made that contract. Yeah. And we'll walk over to them. So okay. Like you have the right idea to avoid Pete Sutter this time. Yeah. Look well, we should all. Him. Well, I mean, we only him. I still remain. We should have left him tied to that tree. We could have watched that for a day. I could have watched it for two days, yeah. honestly. But they were grave droppers, so. Yeah. 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 We did that would have bothered me, but it would have been kind of made up for by watching Pete Sutter struggle next to the tree. He's wearing some robe made out of snake skin. Yeah. Like I, robes, like wizard robe kind of crap, Harry. I face him out a lot. Because okay. like <laughs> I don't know who this man is. Okay. Um, People are staring. Can you pull a rabbit out of your hat? Why, yes, I can. And I take my hat off, and I put it in there, and I pull out the middle <laughs> finger. Is the middle? Yeah, the middle finger is a thing, right? Since Roman times. I'm going to put the hat back on. Not in a rabbit, stupid. This is a rabbit. You suck. You're a terrible magician. Oh, I'm sorry. He wanders away. He's obviously been drinking. <laughs> uh, well, what happened to you, Otto? Well, I got electrocuted by Stelloid first. And then Ooh, beaten up by a horse. And then beaten up by Pete Sutter. Pete Sutter ran away with $200 worth of gold. That's why you leave him tied to a tree. No, get down. <laughs> point it. See, I know I'm not crazy. <laughs> What'd you point at? He's pointing at me saying that's I, what you I looked at Lloyd and I was like, <laughs> She's like Pete Sutter. Oh, God. Uh, who's asking? The man looks confused and looks around. Well, I am. There's some, you don't recognize him. And who are you? That's why I asked. I'm Clem. I think he was cheating at cards the other night. He was through here? He, is he looks team. confused again for a few moments. He's like, yes, he was through here. Why would I be asking you these questions? Are you a friend of his? <laughs> no. I have, I have many times heard Pete Sutter say, Pete, I'm Pete Sutter. Chikali, I hate that lady. So you're yeah, a friend. Nope. He has never said he hates me, but I do not believe we are friends. He's Where is he? Friend. Yep. Somewhere. Where is he? <laughs> the last place you saw him, plus a day. That's the Lloyd E's for we don't know. He puts his hand on his gun. Careful, there's a marshal. Two marshals. <laughs> yeah. Lloyd, president of law. One and a half marshals. <laughs> I mean, you guys keep talking to him. He's, just, he looks, he's not very smart, apparently. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. I'm watching you, you snaky fella. I'm easy to watch. <laughs> he doesn't seem pleased with you, Lloyd. He wanders over to the bar and starts drinking again. Maybe he's working up his courage. <laughs> his mouth's going to get all y'all killed one of these days. I'm just going to keep an eye on Clem at the bar. <laughs> he keeps glancing at y'all. He's mainly watching Stelloid. So, you were electrocuted by Stelloid, you said? I missed. And, <laughs> and he hit Clearly. My <laughs> and he hit my sword instead. He was holding a metal object. I'm sorry. He could have hit Jack Collie. She's not holding any metal. But she was in the target Wait, area. what are your arrowheads metal? Probably Flint. Okay. She wasn't mm-hmm. holding any metal. Mm-hmm. And I already so did get shot with a gun, so like, you know, one per. Why were you shooting the lightning gun with? That was a zombie. Um, I mean, <laughs> let's say for worse. That was a dead man that was coming at me. But he's dead. Oh, he's the dead man that did that to him. 
I think you did that to him. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, I think Pete Sutter did that to him. If I have the strength to do that, sir, I am. I will defend Very the Lloyd's character, at least on the account of not beating me up. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could beat him up. Oh, I'd be so strong. So the story is... I'm now just staring at the still light exclusive. <laughs> oh, and this all happened in an ancient snake temple. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ophelia comes in. She was dealing with your horses. Um, guess, tying them up out front, basically. For she's now. the only one who can deal with Satan, so... You untied pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Electrocuted my newly appointed helper. You skip a step. Nope. Track down grave robbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Track down grave robbers. Okay. Real vigilante justice on this one, Drew. With Pete Sutter? Yes. Well, was and I gave him a gun. Justice <laughs> and a show. <laughs> was it Pete Sutter's idea to track down the grave robbers? Oh, wait, no, I didn't give him a gun. Otto gave him a gun. I did not give him a gun willingly. <laughs> no one should give Pete Sutter a gun. <laughs> He's good with it, though. Yes, that's why we don't get this the gun. Ah, are we taking Jack West's gun? I don't know who Jack West is. Or, wait. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who Jack West is really, though. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> getting philosophical. Ooh, existentialism on the planes. <laughs> Considering that he's not with us, right? Now. Yeah, what happened to that gold? What is that? We'll get to that later. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pierce, I noticed that you've had a shift in tone since we last spoke. Is something happening with you that we should know about? Has there any been any developments on the case? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's definitely Jack Barker. And, uh, I'm getting close to home. I don't like home. I understand you on that. Although uh, you've seen me at my home. I, I <laughs> yeah. understand that sentiment. We saw, we saw that. Uh, He's standing in the middle of a saloon talking. Appropriate behavior. We are standing. That's, you guys are standing in a group yeah. in the middle of a saloon. <laughs> go back you got up and approached you guys. Let's go back to my table. Yeah. I got a question. Billy just gives all of you a look. What? How much is a round of drinks for us? Probably less than the minimum payment per day. Okay. I'm uh, guessing. Yeah, mine's, minimum? mine's 25. Uh, my spending level's $5. Mine's you can easily buy a round of drinks. Then I'll buy one for everybody and yeah. we can just... I'll buy food. Thank you. Okay, There's food here. No problem, Lotto. There's food, whiskey, beer. Mm, that's pretty much it. Yeah. A lot of people pay with gold dust when they see actual coins. Uh, so... Uh, you see a lot of people are paying with gold dust. They actually have a scale on the bar huh. where they will take a payment straight up gold. Something's been worrying me about tracking Jack Parker. Uh, I know Jack Parker is important to you, but I don't think I ever knew why. Killed my son. Ruined my marriage and set me on the path to becoming a martyr. Which I thank him for the latter, but not the former parts. But anyways, Jack Parker seems to be repaying his debts for the crimes that he's committed. Most of them have been stealing money, stealing horses, property, stuff like that. And he's been repaying either the people that have survived his victims or the victims themselves. But once we get to Granite, that's where he committed my crime. And I don't know how he's going to repay me for taking my son. You say he's kind of like a ghost. He's been entering people's places without breaking in. One owner said that he had a dog, and the dog barks at anybody that comes near the property, but there was just money inside the house, no sign of entry or anything like that, so I don't think this is <clears throat> pull out his gun and rob you, Jack Parker. I think this is something strange, strange kind of like what we've been seeing with all the Stuff you guys drag me into. <laughs> Billy just looks like you were cold, dead eyes. Of course she does. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm gonna find him in Granite if I stay on this path. And that's hopefully where we'll see what he's up to. I just uh, get a little anxious about this reunion. <coughs> 
I can understand. And I can't stop drinking whiskey the closer I get to Granite. So, if you all would keep an eye on me and limit me a little bit, that would be good. <laughs> There's probably a bottle of whiskey. Wait, who's drinking what? I mean, you bought drinks. Are people mostly drinking beer? <coughs> <coughs> I might be drinking something stronger. Okay, the whiskey here. Um, do you want to order a bottle? Either of you, or you two are paying. The so there's a bottle of whiskey on the table, and there's plenty of shot glasses. They slowly slide it to the <laughs> That's what I was wondering. It's like, they say this, and then you reach for the bottle and get yourself a drink? And you guys would just limit me just a little bit. <laughs> does, that, do, does he do take something it, like that? Or? No, no, no. Okay. I'm just sitting there kind of like, oh, this is probably the most solemn I've ever been. Mm-hmm. So, kind of, yeah. I'm just two hundred dollars with a gold dust away. <laughs> Not a whole lot. It wasn't like a giant bag of gold dust. It was probably. My guess is it was pretty small. Maybe a pound. While I'm already in an area with all gold dust, exchange two hundred dollars for two hundred dollars gold dust. You don't exchange I, gold yeah. dust. You know? I don't think you do. You're asking the bartender like, get away from me. <laughs> oh. Oh, God, I'll have to look anywhere. Don't look at me. <laughs> Uh, and now I've maybe. flashed. Maybe. Now there's a Sayers office in, in now Riverside. Now I've flashed that I have $200 uh, cash on me. That gets some attention. Yeah, oh. I put it back in my suit. Clem over there. Yeah, Clem definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other role playing you guys want to do? Uh, it is really late. It is pretty. It, you guys got there well after dark. Um, yeah, you've been drinking, so you're probably ready for bed. You guys can get rooms. I think everybody can meet the minimums to, to get a hotel room, so you don't have to worry about money on that. I think Jakari would say to Pierce that I've known losing people in my life, and I've also lost a partner. So I understand, and if you need to talk to somebody about it, I understand it might not be your first choice, but I'm here. He's very curious if he's really repaying for his crimes. Does that mean he's going to try to bring my son back? And would I even want that? Would it even be my son? This is why I've been drinking, you see. <laughs> because with what I've seen with the rest of you, it sounds like bringing someone back is something that can be done, and I look at still And I look at still <laughs> Did I tell them that I brought yeah. something back to life? You've been telling. You've been making like... Oh, you listen, I, 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 you broke the fucking chain. You're like, I broke the chain. Well... You told him you were a shaman. You could bring people back from the yeah, dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. I believe you mentioned it. You said it in I past. talked to a fucking was, ghost uh, together. It was a cryptic the way he was talking about it. You mentioned it yeah, in past. I said it offhandedly. Offhandedly. <laughs> okay. like, oh, it's Apparently, possible. they picked up on that. Oh, okay. These two are the only ones that stood nice. at you. Okay. Ophelia probably just doesn't appear to care. She's sitting next to you, by the way, Ashton. Yeah. She's been eating meat. The meat that came, she's okay, eating. Okay, so y'all, y'all finally picked it up. Okay. <laughs> Well, you guys keep bought food for everybody, so. So I'm going to into the vegetables and stuff. I don't know, you know more about snakes than me. They don't eat much in the way of veg, do they? <laughs> much in veg. I don't know why that sounds silly. Okay. I didn't think so either. She usually eats live prey, but she can. she has been trying to eat human food as far as, like, cook Probably meat easier. and shit like that. Yeah. It fills her up. She doesn't particularly care for it. It doesn't have the flavor of, like, swallowing a raw rat. Or whatever. This is discussions you would have had it's with her on the trail. Yeah, I'll stand up from the table and be like, I think it's time to turn in. Leave it down for Riverside. Okay. Is that um, it? You guys all get rooms and. I think I'm writing a note. You're writing a note? Well, just writing something. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're just writing something. Not a note to me, right? Well, maybe. I don't know. I'll pick up. Later. Okay, okay. You guys get rooms. It, the rooms aren't very expensive. This is a this is a prospector, gold rush town. She loves B boys. I love you. Give me food. I love you. What's wrong? Don't mind me. Are you okay? Is everything okay? Okay. Okay. November thirteenth. Uh, you guys can get your horses. And do we need to take a short break? I'm just giving it a drink. Okay, I didn't know Ben, that's what I asked.
I'm trying to be polite. Get back in your chair. We're playing a game. To Riverside. <laughs> um, yeah, it's probably only it's only a few miles to Riverside. It's like seven or eight miles. So you can get there in a couple hours, probably. Nice. Um, yeah, Riverside. Oh, wait, were you going to do an investigation in Helena? Were you going to talk to him? You haven't talked to anybody in Helena yet. I think. I'm trying to catch him. I okay, so like you're heading on. Yeah, no, no, yeah. I'm just asking. So, because a lot has happened between the time you arrived. Once I got that one guy to confirm that, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Jack Parker. Then I'm, I'm trying to catch him at his next. Okay. Turn in. Not Riverside. Be behind. Me. Okay, okay. Yeah. Riverside is a little larger than Hel- Helena or Helena. Yeah. Um, the population is probably closer to 700 as opposed to uh, Helena was around 500. Um, it's a village. It's more, it's more solidly built. There are several anemones. Uh, there's an assayer's office. There's a um, there's saloon and hotel. Um, you quickly learn that gambling is very, very popular here. I mean, like, super popular. Um, uh, let me see. Let me see where we are. Riverside. Yeah, it's at least a day and a half to Granite from here. Um, maybe. There's no time to get. We're going. <laughs> Go on. Go. Come on, no, you could probably make Granite by tonight if you really wanted to push. Um, yeah, there's a lot of gambling halls. You see people playing cards a lot. Um, this area's also got a lot of prospectors and that kind of stuff as well. Uh, so, what's the plan on Riverside? It only took you a few hours, two, maybe two hours to get there on horseback. Well, I'm going to go where they, where they gamble, mm-hmm. and I'm going to talk about the crime that was committed. Okay. Back in 1870. Okay. I'm going to down those guys, and I want to know if anybody's received money. Who the two guys were. Okay. Uh, make me a lot check. Yeah. It's going to determine like a time, how long it's going to take you to find people that can actually Because I need to know if he's already been here right. or not. Yeah. Maybe? Okay. It only takes you about an hour to track down some people. And um, you find that uh, just yesterday, or um, actually, yeah, just yesterday, um, uh, there was a mysterious man. Uh-oh. Who left $1,000 each to several women and children. And there's been a lot of talk around town, and those are the same, the wives and husbands, no, no, the wives of the men who were killed five years ago, it turns out, is who those people are. Um, you also find out that um, Elmer Green still lives in Riverside. That's uh, the son of one of the, the men who, uh, who was killed in that whole mess. Nancy Green was, uh, was killed during that. So I don't know if you want to talk to him or not. Yeah, I'll go question him real fast okay. just to see if he saw Jack Spark. Okay. What are the rest of you? I'll do an hour of gambling. You're gonna you're gonna gamble. Okay. <laughs> give me a gambling you. check. I want to gamble. All right, give me a gambling. Are check. you going to a separate table? There's a no, lot of gambling in this town. It's oh, like okay. people are bored out of their minds when they're not just digging up dirt. I'm gonna make you all the sick. <laughs> uh, so you, oh yeah, you can do that. You so can do some. Uh, I roll a fifty-two. Everywhere I go. Well, that's a hard. You made a hard success. I. Failed. You failed. Failed. Now he's making a luck check. Well, I have luck. Mm-hmm. Hard success, Deloy? Yeah. I made the luck check. And hard you luck made check. The luck check. You made a hard luck check. Um, um, roll me a percentile dice, Deloy. That's right. how much money you made. Nice. $18. Nobody was betting a lot. $18? I think that's 13 13 dollars Yeah. Okay. I, I so wasn't going to cover my, my poker. My, you, you, have have poker you, haven't, you haven't sat down with real gamblers in a long time. So, so you, didn't lose. you didn't lose, so it you didn't make as much. So you can have 13 months. bucks to your, your cash. You lost, um, but you made the luck check, so you only lost uh, five bucks. So my big spending, basically. No, because you're you're gonna have to pay for some place to sleep tonight and lunch and that kind of stuff. So knock five bucks off. You only lost five dollars. What does your colleague want to do? I'm gonna deal with you healing the sick here in a moment. I'm gonna ask my small if she needs a assistant for healing the sick. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ophelia doesn't do very well. She doesn't have very good bedside manner. She's a terrible bedside manner. <laughs> oh, I'm so much do what the doctor tells you. Here's the way I actually picture it now. It's, uh, I sit down and I'm like, Winning a few hands, I'm like, anybody want to go for some high wages? But I've been winning, like, all the hands. And they're like... And they're like, no. Uh, and I just, I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> okay, I, got I like $13. that. I like that. That's good. Uh, give me, give this, there's the others. Um, okay, so, give me a luck check, Ashton. See if you can find somebody really sick. <laughs> okay. And, like, miraculously heal them. Made it. If you're lucky, somebody's dying of police. <laughs> give me a medicine. Well, there's not anything you can do about that. <laughs> but... Give me your medicine check. 30. Okay. So, um, 
Hard. You made it hard? Okay. Um, Does it matter if I'm... Yeah, playing? you're... Uh, okay. Do you have medicine at all? No. But well, give, me first aid. give me a first aid. Give me a first aid. Give me a first aid. We'll see if it matters. Maybe. You're just assisting. You're not really helping. You're not like... Whatever. What about that huge... Careful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so actually, I thought you the names of medical. How's this? Let's throw it to you. Who do you heal? Huh? Who do you heal? You made the luck check. It should be something kind of good for your character. You know what I mean? Something maybe if, a challenge or. If there's any like natives, usually they come first. Oh, yeah. You made the luck check. You find some natives who are really sick, and the people, white people, don't give a shit. You know, they don't come and gamble. They don't spend their money in the saloons. Um, they just are living. Um, just uh, just outside the north side of town. It's a small group. It's like five or six people. But. Is this a group I can communicate with? Um, damn it. <laughs> Let's find out. I got cyan, so... Suddenly it becomes all complicated. Oh, I'm better than mine. You guys are in southwest Colorado. These are Ute. <laughs> the blood of Ute. Well, these are the same. These are the Navajo and you. You're Apache, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I now wonder if that, car, that truck thing is staying yeah. out with them. Well, I want to be kind of realistic here. See, Rapa, Rapa, Rapaho, Rapa and Cheyenne, the Ute are kind of separate. Ute. Um, all right, it's from Utah. It's from Utah, gets it's in. Um, they speak dialects of Utah as Deacon language. So, you would have difficulty speaking with them. Cheyenne is what you are connected with, right? And I found out that Cheyenne are actually <coughs> in here. They're just, there's no title. So it's hard to find them. Cheyenne. Here's where the Cheyenne starts. That's terrible. Halfway from Blackfoot. Well, it's just, it's a typo. Um, let's see what it says what they speak. And now you guys probably don't really speak, you can't get more than a few pigeon words in, but you can get enough to learn that they are, they have been, uh, they and the children are very sick. Uh, you made your medicine check, you're able to give them uh, some some medicine and that kind of thing. If you'd actually like to spend some money, um, they're having a hard time of it here. Uh, they could use blankets and that kind of stuff. You want to spend five or ten dollars, however much you want to spend. Uh, that would help them out a lot. Twenty dollars. The- You're gonna give money too, uh, or buy stuff for them. You I can, won't you give twenty dollars, but I'll give some money. Okay. okay. You guys can each buy some some stuff from them. They'll they'll take it. Their uh their tribe's been uh they uh they do they they are kind of a font of information for some reason. And um, they asked if you have heard about the... Um, have they heard of me? <laughs> um, this, this game needs a reputation thing. Wait, oh, give me another medicine check. Yeah, I thought that was credit rating, was reputation. Oh, yeah. Do, uh, <laughs> not really anymore as much as it was in the 20s. Okay. So give me a medicine check, because most they, if they've heard of you, they've heard of you because you're a healer. Me so they, they have heard of you. Um, they've also heard something that, features that, that, that you guys, made us. yeah, <laughs> that, that um, they've heard something, and you don't know where they could have heard this because it's only three days ago. Uh, but they know that um, uh, that on on the ninth there was a report about the Sioux and the Cheyenne associating with Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse have been hostile to white men, and they're afraid that the white men are going to do something about it. And the youngest one, she's a little girl, she's like five years old, she's like, that's what they say in Washington, D.C. Which is really kind of strange. <laughs> I don't think these are Indians. No. Huh. You don't know. Them darn slug people again. They don't act like slug people. <laughs> anyway. Is there any uh, healthy people who want to learn how to shoot a bow? I guess they probably fucking know. They know. Dumb. So I'm okay. You think about it, and you're about to offer, and you're like, oh, wait a minute. I'm just trying to look up yeah, my skills, skills. <laughs> and what's interesting to me. I'm a master bowman. Clancy Green. Or, uh, yeah, I'll go. 
Tell him Green. <laughs> Each one of the ones received down knowledge. Oh, I'm really good. You give the back partner. Yep, that was him. Seesaw? Yeah. Yeah. And big man. Real big man. Big head. Like, and you know, Jack Parker is like one of those people that have like a, like a thick head, like a neck. You think of like the classic Jarhead Marine kind of deal. It's like, mm. you like that. So big head fits with the description. Anything seem off about him? Nope. He said, this is for your paw. I said, my paw was a low down skunk. He was a cheat and a card sharp. And thank you, sir. And thank you, I sir. Didn't, I didn't want to seem unappreciative because he was giving me a thousand dollars. It'd be nice if he could give it to me five years ago when my father died, but better late than never, huh? I guess. You hold on to that money tight. I'm getting out of this place. Ain't no gold left. Okay. You don't think that's true, <laughs> but yeah. he's got a thousand dollars. What is he? Yeah, he should probably live the rest of his life relatively comfortably off that much money. Well. If you see a man with a scar, he doesn't uh, do too much freight on the train. A man with a scar? You all know what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> what about a man? <laughs> I'm going to move my whole house on the okay. train. <laughs> uh, so you found that out. That that takes you about until about noon. Yeah, we're gone. Um, if you guys push, it'll be pretty late. Yeah, we'll push. Before you get to Grand. Well, there's Grand is probably about 20 miles from here. Yeah. Upstream, so you might be able to get there by nightfall. Yeah, I want to do it. Okay, you can do that. Um, you're gonna come to them and tell them. Yeah, we're going to Granite because right now I'm assuming that you were planning on staying in town long enough that you put your horses in library, or at least have them hitched up somewhere. Uh, either or. It's yeah, up to you I'm just gonna be brief. I'm be like, he was here. It's not far. Already, Marshall. Okay, yeah, oh, you yeah. guys head on. Uh, you push your horses a little bit. It's not gonna hurt them, but you're pushing. Actually, if you want to really push him, you could probably get there before nightfall. Yes. Okay. That'll be fine. We got um, horses, right? I need um, I need a riding from everybody, or oh, see, I can't um, do that. I animal handling. Or animal handling. No, animal handling is more teaching and oh, dealing with. Um, I'll just make sure that's what you usually do. So that's why I was trying to just say. I, I want to say ride because okay. you're trying to push your horses and not hurt them. That's okay. Roll it base. I got a success. What's Did base? You? Yeah. Just me. Yeah, ride. Okay, I've got a two and ten chance. She doesn't know shit about riding a bit. Can I can I do a, a hard uh, wagon? Whoa, roll? I feel you actually can ride. Holy fuck, I didn't know that. Can I do a hard wagon roll? She didn't ride horses, but she rode something back in the day. A hard what? Hard, hard wagon, wagon roll. Horses. No. Okay. You can push your ride if you want, but if you I fail, uh, you land your horse. I I did one on my okay. chair. Okay. Okay. I really made her roll. Sweet. Yeah, try that again. Yeah, actually, has a psychology check that that's she hasn't updated yet. Sorry, I've got a. Oh, oh three. Oh three. Yeah. Is that a, that's a out of fifteen? That's a hard. That's an extreme Extreme. success. Okay, you didn't make it. No. Uh, your horse uh, is <laughs> injured. You push uh, your horse too hard. It's actually injured, so it takes oh, also, a couple points of damage. Um, Red con. It's not something that's really. I do ask uh, him where Lydia went with my horse when we first meet up. Can I medicine it? Lydia? Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, we could retcon in. So when they, when they first ran to you that night when you were talking, before you said, well, it's late, let's go to bed. At some point, Stalloyd said, where, where did Lydia go with my horse? Or how do you want to say it? She is my horse. Um, where's where's Colby? Gold. Corey is not gold, he's a horse. <laughs> well, it's getting late. Uh, where are you? I'm in the soup. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, Stoy could talk to you the next day about it and get more information. Um, <laughs> yeah, get more information. Which is, are you going to give him that? Oh, really? I don't know much. Well, you know she left in South Arkansas and you don't know where she went. Okay. You can tell him that much. We parted ways in South Arkansas. I lost Corey. <laughs> Can, can I medicine the horse? Um, not until the next day. Okay. Because um, yeah. you guys are getting trying to get there yeah. as fast as you can. There's a ride. Um, don't forget to check ride if you made it. Did you make yours? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So everybody check ride if you made it. Um, yes, everybody but Marshall did, so your horse is injured. I was trying to push you, Mark. No, yeah, you were. Um, or more. And uh, son. What the hell's the name of your horse? Fast and Freddy. Huh? I got a down somewhere. Aaron? Aaron. 
Uh, Aaron, he actually had to stop a couple times, and he talked. Do you talk to your horse when it refuses to do what you want it to? Do you say, come on, we can do this? And he's like, <laughs> yeah. and that kind of deal. He's so smart. he talks to his horse, and eventually he convinces, apparently, the horse to continue on, despite the detriment to its potential health. Um, it doesn't seem to be happy about that. Every once in a while, it looks back at him. It's like, <laughs> you know, it gives one of those horse... <laughs> Yeah, and it looks annoyed. So, th- his horse is obviously very smart. It's smarter um, than me. Could be. Maybe it can't get you out of a safe. <laughs> but, you know, maybe it can. All right, so that was uh, the 13th, and you guys hit Riverside, and you're on your way to Granite. Right. Which you arrive at before dark. Uh, Granite's the biggest town you guys have seen. <laughs> have I, yeah. how, how about, would I have time to teach Polly to handle whatever it's called? Uh, uh, make a D8 to college if you want to learn yeah. it. That's how many days it'll take. Yeah. Starting on... When did you guys just go? Six. Six days from... I'd say the date we From 11th. From November 11th. So it'll be the 17th. So November 17th, note somewhere on a sheet of paper or a scrap. Somewhere on November 17th, check uh, candle calm. If you're alive. Yeah. If you're alive. Granite City! Granite City has a population of about 3,000. Is it bigger than San Francisco? No. I know. But it rolls about three miles up the river. You know this. It's this long freaking town. Um, It is probably the big... It is the county seat. Um, uh, You know that Free Quartz Gold was discovered in 1867. There's a mill. Um, The county seat was moved there in 1868. You would have been living there at the time. So you know about all this background information. Uh, the town's been there since about 1860. You were probably some of the first settlers, yeah, we actually. Were. Uh, and brought your wife here. Your son wasn't born yet, so you had your kid here. He had it. Um, it is on either side of the Arkansas River. Um, and it's a three-mile stretch, as well as extending two miles of Cache Creek. So, and this is a lot of prospecting, a lot of mining. What did you do before you were a marshal when you guys came here? That's did you come here for the gold? You came here to farm. There's all these miners up here. We can sell them some fucking food. That works. Yep. So you got a little farm where? I have a little farm where? No, you still own it. Where is it? The northernmost part of Granite. Okay, and it's just like outside of Granite, maybe slightly outside with a good piece of land? Okay. Um... Uh, there's all the anemones here. This is a this is the largest town you all have been been to along the river. Uh, saloons. There's a bank. There's a, a it's a real good a solid bank. Post office, library stables, at least one, probably two or three. Uh, this is a real town as opposed to the other places that you guys have been to. Buildings are made of wood. Um, it uh, yeah, it looks like this is a. Uh, and uh, it's just coming on late afternoon. It's probably like 5 o'clock. Uh, town's hopping. There's a lot of people here. Uh, a lot of prospectors. Again, you're expecting gold dust to be seen. Being shared. What do y'all want to do? Is there a lawyer in town? Uh, probably, yeah. You'll have to do some searching, okay. but probably you can find one. I don't one. search for a lawyer. Okay. So you just take off? No, I'm not. Okay, but you're going to keep your eye out. You're going to kind of yeah. keep an eye out, see if you can see lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 let, I let Pierce know I'm interested in seeing a lawyer. Okay, did you hear this, Pierce? What are you saying? 